Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Wish Infinite. In this video of Playwright with TypeScript series, I am going to cover that how to run tests with either or both tags in Playwright. So let's start. In my previous video, I have already talked about tags in Playwright where we learnt that how to provide tags to the tests and how to execute those tests. If you have not watched that particular video, I would recommend you to watch that video. I will provide the link of that video into the description or you can click onto this i button at top right corner to access that video. For now, let me give you the quick recap of that video. In that video, we saw that how to provide the single tag with the title with this at the right symbol like this. We can also provide multiple tags with the title with this at the right symbol for each tag like this. And this is the old method where we would be able to see all the tags with the title into the HTML report also. There is one more new way to provide the tags where we need to pass the second argument to the test as the object where the key would be the tag and in case of single argument, we can pass the string with this at the rate symbol and the tag name like this. And if we want to provide the multiple tags, in that case, we will have to pass the array to this tag key and inside this array, we can pass the multiple tags as the string with this at the rate symbol and tag name and all the tags will be separated by the comma. And if we want to execute the test with the specific tag, in that case, we can use the command which is npx playwright test hyphen hyphen grep equals to at the rate tag name. And if we want to skip the test with a particular tag, in that case, we need to use the command, which is npx playwright test hyphen hyphen grep hyphen invert equals to at the rate tag name. And for this particular video, I'm going to use the same test script file, which I've kept inside the test folder with the name textpractice.spec.ts, where I've imported the test from the playwright test module and created the six different tests where I have given the title as practice test 1 to 6 and also added this anonymous function where I am just console logging this string which is practice test 1 to 6. And I have also added these tags which we just discussed. Now let's continue with this current topic where first I want you to learn about the different terminals which we usually use. First one is PowerShell terminal which is a command line interface provided by Microsoft. Second one is the best terminal which refers to a command prompt cmd.exe provided by Microsoft Windows. And the third one is batch terminal, which is the default terminal on most Unix based operating systems, including Linux and Mac OS. As I'm using the Windows machine, so with that, I've already got this PowerShell and the batch terminal. And as I've installed the Git, so with that, I've got this Git batch terminal. If you are using the Mac machine, so with that, you will get this batch terminal. Now, I want you to learn that how to run tests containing either tag. So what does that mean? Here, I will give you one example. Let's say I want to execute the tests which are either having this API tag or they are having the smoke tag. So in our case, the second test, fifth test and the sixth test is having the API tag and this third and fourth test is having the smoke tag. So for us, all these five tests should get executed. And for that, we need to use the different command for the different terminal. Now let's start with this PowerShell terminal where we need to give the command which is npx playwright test then space hyphen hyphen grab again space hyphen hyphen percentage then space and then we need to pass the string where we would be passing the different tags separated by this pipe symbol and this command will execute all the tests which are containing either of this tag. So let's use this command. Here into the VS code, we need to open the terminal. If this terminal section is not open for you, you can click onto this terminal option from the top and then you can click onto this new terminal to open the default terminal. For me, this PowerShell is the default terminal. And here beside this plus icon, there is this launch profile option is there with this down arrow key. And if you click here, you would be able to see different terminal options here. This PowerShell is for PowerShell terminal. This command prompt is for batch terminal. And as I've installed the Git, so for me, this git bash is for the bash terminal. You can click onto these options one by one. It will open the specific terminal for you. Here, I've already opened this PowerShell CMD, which is the bash terminal and the bash terminal here. And here, as we want to use this PowerShell terminal, so we can click onto this PowerShell and then we need to give the command, which is npx playwright test, then space hyphen hyphen grab, then again space hyphen hyphen percentage, and then we need to provide the double quotes and within the double quotes, we need to provide the different tags separated by the pipe symbol. Okay. So here we want to use this API tag. So we need to give this at the rate API within the double quotes 
then the pipe symbol and then we need to provide the second tag name which is the smoke tag so at the rate smoke i can give and once i hit enter so it will execute all the tests which are either having the api tag or the smoke tag so for us there are five tests which are either having the api or the smoke tag will get executed on both the browsers which are chrome and the firefox why because i have configured this chromium and firefox browser only here so on to these browsers only we would be able to see the execution so see the execution got completed and we are able to see 10 passed 5 on each browser right and here if we want to see the report also so for that what we can do we can use this command which is npx playwright show hyphen report and it will open the html report and here we would be able to see all the tasks which are either having the api tag or the smoke tag got executed onto both the browsers which are chromium and the firefox and here same thing can be done with the help of this batch terminal and the batch terminal in case of batch terminal we need to give the command which is npx playwright test then space hyphen hyphen grep and then within the double quotes we need to provide the different tag name separated by the pipe symbol so let's use this batch terminal so here you need to click onto the cmd to go to this batch terminal and here we need to give this command which is npx playwright test then space hyphen hyphen grep again space and then within the double quotes we need to provide the different tag name so here at the rate api and then pipe symbol at the rate smoke which will execute all the tests which are having either the api tag or the smoke tag so in total five tests will get executed okay onto both the browsers so see execution started and it executed all those five tests on both the browsers and similarly you can use the bash terminal also and for that we are having the same command like the batch terminal which is npx playwright test hyphen hyphen grab and then within the double quotes you can pass the different tag name separated by the pipe symbol so let's copy the same command from here okay which is npx playwright test hyphen hyphen grab and then within the double quotes we are providing these two tags name and here you can click onto this bash option which will open the bash terminal and then you can pass that command okay and then you can hit enter which will execute the tests which are having either the api tag or the smoke tag so see the execution got completed and here one more thing i would like to add let's say we want to execute the tests which are either having the api tag or the smoke tag or the ui tag so in that case simply what you need to do you need to pass this third tag also separated by the pipe symbol inside the double quotes okay so you can put this pipe symbol and then the tag name so at the rate tag 3 okay and the same thing can be done for the batch and the batch terminal also like this see we need to pass this pipe symbol and then at the rate third tag name so it will execute all the tests which are either having the tag 1 or the tag 2 or tag 3 here one more thing i would like to add so here if you are running the tests containing either tag so in case of PowerShell and the batch command, if you will see this playwright documentation, so here you will find that they are using this up arrow symbol before this pipe symbol, okay, between the tags for the both PowerShell and the batch terminal. I have tried using it, but it is not working. I will raise this concern with the playwright team. It may be the issue with this playwright documentation or it may be some genuine issue. I will check it. Now, let's see how to run tests containing both tags let me give you an example let's say we want to execute the tests which are having both ui and the smoke tag so in that case our third and fourth test should get executed only these two tests are having both ui and the smoke tag and for that we need to give the command which is npx playwright test then space hyphen hyphen grab and then within double quotes we need to pass it like this where we would be using the regular expression look ahead okay so here you need to pass the parenthesis then question mark equals to dot star and then at the rate tag name okay so this is the tag one and for the second tag also you need to do the same thing we need to put the parenthesis then within the parenthesis we need to pass this question mark equals to dot star then at the rate second tag name so now let's use this command so here this command is going to be the same for all the terminals it may be the powershell terminal or the batch terminal or the batch terminal okay. for now i will use this powershell terminal 
here let me terminate this report job and then we need to give the command which is npx playwright test then space hyphen hyphen grab and then you need to provide the double quotes and within the double quotes you need to put the parenthesis and within the parenthesis we need to provide question mark equals to dot star and then we need to provide the tag name so here for us it is at the rate ui so this is for the first tag and similarly we need to provide again the parenthesis and within the parenthesis we need to provide question mark equals to dot star and then we need to provide the second tag name so it is at the rate smoke okay and once i hit enter so it will execute all the tasks which are having both the tag which is ui and the smoke tag right so let me hit enter so see these two tests got executed onto both firefox and the chrome browser and the same command you can use for the batch and the batch terminal also and here one more thing i would like to add let's say we want to execute the tests which are having more than two tags for an example this four test is having the ui tag smoke tag and the db tag and we want to execute all such tests which are having all these three tags for that we need to use the same command which we just used okay and here what we need to do we need to provide the parenthesis like this and here we need to give this question mark equals to dot star and then at the rate tag 3 okay so like this you would be providing it and then it will execute all the tests which are having all these three tags okay it should have tag 1 as well as tag 2 as well as tag 3 so in this example right only this test is having all this ui smoke and db tags so only one test will get executed okay you can try it at your end for the practice purpose that's it for this particular video let me give you the quick recap here we learned that there are different type of terminals which we usually use which are powershell batch and the batch terminal and if you want to execute the tests which are containing either tag so for that we need to use the different command for the different terminals so for the powershell terminal we need to use this npx playwright test hyphen hyphen grep then hyphen hyphen percentage and then within the double quotes we need to pass the tag name separated by the pipe symbol and in case of batch and the batch terminal we need not to provide this hyphen hyphen percentage and apart from that the command would be the same and we also learned that if you want to run the tests containing both the tags or n number of tags so in that case we need to use this regular expression look aheads and we need to use the command which would be same for all the terminals which is npx playwright test then space hyphen hyphen grep and then within the double quotes we need to provide this parenthesis and within the parenthesis we need to pass this question mark equals to dot star and then at the rate tag name so here if we want to pass the multiple tags so you need to use this syntax multiple times within the double quotes and that's it for my end you can click on to this first card to go to the next video you can click on to the second card to access the whole playwright tutorial playlist and stay tuned for my upcoming videos if you have any comments questions or doubts you can let me know into the comment section below please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day